All right, today we're doing angles of elevation and depression. So I've written a little song to help you remember it. Angle of elevation, looking up from the horizon. Angle of depression, looking down from the horizon. If you know angle and side, you can use them for Sakatoa. This will help find a side. This is called trigonometry. Angle of elevation. Looking up. Looking down from the horizon. So we can use this in an example like this. Um, say we want to put up a string that's connected to a branch here, and the strings, you know, going down to here. Like that, so the string is going to be that length, so you can see it forms a triangle. And that's what Sokotoa trigonometry is all about. So if you're measuring from the ground 35 degrees, and when you're 3 meters away, so this is, oh, sorry, 3.2 meters away from the tree, you want to find the height to that branch. So we've got the adjacent to the angle, we want to find the opposite, so we're using TOA, which is tan angle equals opposite over adjacent. Angle, this is what this is here, it's theta. So we can replace that theta with 35 degrees. The opposite, we don't know, so we could call that the height, h, over here. We know the adjacent, which is 3.2. So we can bring this over to here by multiplying both sides by 3.2. We are left with h equals 3.2 times tan 35. So if you type that into your calculator, you should get approximately a height of 2.24 meters um, two decimal places. And this is a context question, it's a worded question, so we need to write a worded answer. The length of the swing is approximately 2.24 meters. And if the question asked us if this was reasonable or not, we would say it's not reasonable because human error, and we don't know if the swing's going to the ground, the question doesn't specify that. So I hope that was helpful. That was angle of elevation question.